This is an example of the use of the C-spine imaging. This is a patient that was self-referred to physical therapy with symptoms of diffuse left shoulder pain. Uh, she, this is a female she reported wearing body armor. She is an uh, army enlisted person carrying weapons over her shoulder, also hurt. Uh, she died any specific trauma. She was actually sent for left shoulder pain and not cervical pain. So her aggravating factors were basically movement, bouncing, climbing in and out of cars and trucks. She had pain with rest. Uh, on exam, because she was not acute uh, and she passed the first battery of questions, we had her move her head and neck and her shoulders as well. She had some pain with that. Um, further evaluation in the lower extremities, we found some muscular, uh, muscle stretch reflex changes, and numbness and tingle of her left deltoid. Now, she passed the C-spine rules, uh, but because she was chronic in nature, she actually had come with x-rays, so then the decision was to, do we need other imaging because she has progressive neurologic problems? So we did uh, send her on for imaging. This was her uh, cervical spine imaging she came with uh, that just showed basic uh, osteophyte formation and DJD changes. Imaging went on to show that this patient had significant uh, disc pathology, enough that you could see on your film to the right that the disc was actually bulging and displacing the spinal cord. And then when you look at the axial view, you can see the actual displacement of the spinal cord. This was her MRI report. The impression was a multi-level disc disease with significant central canal stenosis, most severe at C456 and 7. Mm -hmm.